We live in a world now where age truly is just a number. If you'd asked me at the age of 20 to imagine how I would look and feel aged 48 as I am now, it would be very different from the reality. I would have imagined myself as being obviously more lined, perhaps less in shape, dressed differently, and definitely feeling my age. But it's not the case. I feel almost as energized today as I did 30 years ago, though the difference is the energy tap gets firmly switched off about 10.30 at night these days, and I need a good recharge before I'm raring to go in the morning again. The days of partying past 1 a.m. are long gone for me. So when it comes to anti-aging and lifestyle choices on this channel, I'm pairing my journalism skills that have been built up over 25 years in the news industry with my own experience to bring you clear and impartial information on the products, treatments, and changes we can make that actually work. And today, I want to set out the three fundamentals of anti-aging and my pledge to you to help you follow them. Our understanding of the aging process has evolved so much over the last few decades that we are now much better placed to tackle some of its negative effects, including muscle loss, some lifestyle related conditions, and yes, the visible signs of aging like wrinkles and sagging skin. Anti-aging is something I've begun to focus more and more on in the videos that I post on this channel. And that's because it's a topic that just absolutely fascinates me. You know, the idea of being able to take action within reason and while still being able to enjoy our lives and also factoring in genetics, which we can't do much about. But the fact there is so much we can do to look and feel better for longer is something that just intrigues me and it inspires me. Now, some would say it's just vanity. Others would say you're fighting the inevitable and you should just age gracefully instead of fighting mother nature. But I don't feel like I'm fighting nature. I feel like I'm working with it and I'm trying to learn from it. And if we can, then why shouldn't we aim to resist the negative effects of aging for as long as we can? Because the end result means a better quality of life for longer. Now that doesn't have to be done at great expense, but it does mean daily exercise, eating well, or at least eating better, you know, including watching what we drink, keeping our alcohol and soft drinks intake low. You don't have to go cutting things out, but just keep it in check. And in terms of our skin, even just wearing sunscreen daily will go a long way to slowing the visible signs of aging. So those of you who have followed my videos for long enough will know that I cover a wide range of anti-aging products and treatments from the expensive to the everyday affordable. But my pledge to you is to keep the advice and recommendations realistic and achievable. I'm gonna be tunneling in on three key areas that make all the difference. In other words, the anti-aging fundamentals. Firstly, skincare. I'll continue to cover advances in aesthetic products and treatments and bring you both my experience of using them, but also the evidence, if there is any, for their effectiveness. And importantly, what are the value for money options? We shouldn't have to spend a fortune to look and feel our best. There's just far too many companies charging too much for repackaging something that is already more cheaply available. So it's my mission to find reasonably priced options. At 48, I've managed to fend off a lot of the visible signs of aging through lifestyle and good but inexpensive skincare. Right now, I have no injectables in my face. I've used them in the past, but I last had Botox about a year ago. And I'm not saying never again. Both Botox and fillers can be really, really effective. But right now, I'm focusing on aging naturally and also giving my skin the right support. So while I may use injectables again at some point, they're not central to my anti-aging regime. With so many bigger priorities during a pandemic, it just feels good to me to be keeping things natural for a while. And the combination of using a retinaldehyde serum, which I talked about in a recent video, and also using microcurrent and infrared on my face at home is really generating results. 
The second fundamental is exercise. Now we know a mix of aerobic and resistance training is a successful strategy for staying fit and active for longer, whilst also countering the muscle wastage that occurs with aging, and that we must absolutely try to resist. After all, if you don't use it, you'll lose it. So I will be tunneling in on the best exercises, equipment and routines that help us be all we can be. Now, although I walk the dog every day and I do some resistance training and a little aerobic exercise two or three times a week, I know I need to up my game when it comes to exercise. So believe me, I'm not preaching on that to anyone. Lastly, nutrition is just so important, both what we eat and also whether we need to supplement as we age. Already I take a daily vitamin D supplement, which is recommended by government health experts in the UK. But as we age, there are other supplements that can be beneficial and new research emerges around them all the time. So I'll cast a journalistic eye over that research and bring you the most important facts. If you believed every bit of research you read, you'd be filling your face every day with every vitamin under the sun from morning to night, you know, and there is just no need to do that. But I will focus on the supplements that have concrete evidence. You know, we know, for instance, that vitamin B deficiency is more common as we get older, and there's some good evidence around things like fish oil too, so we will explore that evidence together. I've talked to gut health experts and scientists on this channel, and I'm gonna be looking to bring you more expert advice around diet and nutrition. As a journalist, it's my pledge to bring you well-researched, independent information on what actually works and, crucially, what represents value for money and time well spent. And, of course, I'll continue to bring you impartial reviews of products and treatments to help you make smarter spending choices. In the vast majority of cases, I buy the products for review myself and then I share the results with you on the channel. Occasionally, I'll feature a product or treatment that's been provided for the purposes of independent review, but I always make it clear right at the start whether I've paid or not, and I can promise you I will never accept payment for a review on this channel or be influenced about the opinions I give, and I promise you they will always be honest. That's my pledge to you, and as my subscriber base grows, I just wanted to put that out there so you know what to expect from me. Um, I also wanted to say a big thanks to those who've already subscribed and who support this channel by watching, liking and commenting on my videos. I do love to hear from you, so keep the comments coming. If you haven't already subscribed, I hope you'll join me today by doing so and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks for watching.